in the front, do you guys want to see what kind of drink AJ would buy you if he was trying to have sex with you? Hold on, let me, uh, there we go. What's your, what's your name? You doing crowd work in a roast battle? Oh, I've never seen Rich grunt at the gym. Whenever something's heavy, he just goes, aye, aye, aye. <laughs> Summon my ancestors, by the way. I'm very happy that Lori Lightfoot is doing Rose Battle now. That's. <laughs> A lot of that two girls, one joke. <laughs> this is the battle between OJ and I am the captain now. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is Sam B. Room. Uh, yeah, Sam B. Rude when he's using speakerphone on the bus. Yes, some beautiful whites for this audience. Now, yeah. have you guys decided who's going first? I'm going first. AJ is going first. It's seven joke seats. Everybody, it's going to be roast on three. Let's do it. One, two, three. Roast! Guys, give it up for Nick Curran. He got married this year. Please give it up for him. We love him here. He's the best. All right, Nick, uh, Nick married his high school sweetheart. They're going to get divorced in four years when she graduates. Classic bit. Nick's wife actually makes uh, more money than him because she makes more than negative $70 a month. <laughs> you took a woman that had a great job and a great family and said, baby, I could take you away from all this, you know? I can really... <laughs> Good one, sweet life of Zach and Chody. I love that. No, really, shout out to AJ for making it. Actually, real big shout out for whoever got him out of that locker he was stuffed in. That is... Good for him. Just kidding. He uh, he did get bullied in high school a lot. Uh, they stopped because he kept coming. That was the problem. <laughs> they got bullied too. He actually told me in middle school uh, one time a kid forced him to eat mud. Uh, the other times he was just hungry. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. AJ, you look like you get naked to pee. <laughs> That's it. That's a joke. That's it. Nick, you look like you store blue chews in trees for the winter. <laughs> you look at you look Gotta like hide the, my nut. you look at the chef and the rat from Ratatouille. <laughs> Very funny, Malcolm in the diddle. <laughs> AJ looks like when he has sex, he says shit like, "Oh, your pussy's goaded." <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Barstool, baby. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I, I, do, I can't take that from a guy that cheats on his wife on Xbox Live. I just can't. I mean, Nick, Nick, Nick's really into bondage in that uh, he loves trapping women in conversations about sports gambling. That's, that's his big kink. AJ, AJ looks like uh, Baron Trump's DUI mugshot, so that's pretty special. <laughs> AJ lost thousands of dollars to crypto. Uh, not the currency. Crypto is actually the name of a black stripper he pays to call him the N-word. So, R.I.P. Her name is Brian Moses. You met her before the show. <laughs> Nick's disgusting, all right? Look at fucking Nick has so much oil in his hair, the U.S. military just invaded it. I mean, look at him. <laughs> You fucking muskrat looking ass, dude. Nick married a woman because he's too ugly to be gay. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> AJ did uh, drop out of school to trade Bitcoin. Um, not that embarrassing, though. He still got a degree. It was second degree sexual assault, but it was a degree. <laughs> Nick, I don't even know how you're here right now, dude. What? Shouldn't you be on a podcast shaming someone about our body count or some shit? Isn't that, isn't that your free time? Shouldn't you be fingering your wife with Cheeto dust still on? Isn't that? Damn, dude. It looks like he got a DUI on a Lime scooter, okay? Look at him. I don't do prop comedy, I fucked up. That was prop comedy? <laughs> 
AJ does really want to win this battle, though. It's very important to him, because if he wins, he gets 10 points for Slytherin. <laughs> That was a cute one, I thought. That I'd was remember. a cute one, I liked that. I liked that a lot. Last joke? Last joke? Do you guys remember when uh, Chris bombed earlier? That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, all right, we're just fucking around. That doesn't count. That doesn't, that count. doesn't count. That doesn't count. Nick and I both said that, just remember that. <laughs> yeah. No, in all seriousness, we've had a lot of fun with Nick tonight. Uh, <laughs> we've talked about his wife. We've talked about him. We've talked about how ugly he is, mainly. Nick, I really, I don't know. I don't know what a muskrat is, but I do know you look like one. Hey guys, remember when AJ bombed right now? I know. I felt it. That was good, that was good. <laughs> AJ looks like he decides what drink to buy his high school girlfriend he's hitting on with a paper fortune teller. <laughs> In fact, I was in the green room, and he, this, this shit fell out of his pocket. Uh, one of you ladies in the front, do you guys want to see what kind of drink AJ would buy you if he was trying to have sex with you? Hold on, let me... Uh, here we go. What's your, what's your name? You're doing crowd work in a roast battle? Oh, You're married. Why did you make one of those? You should be put on a list just for owning that. That is bullshit. It's so close, dude. You're ruining my shit. What do they all say, gay or You're some shit? You're ruining my shit. Reveal it already. Come on. You're ruining my shit. What's your name? Your name's Steely? Ask her what she does for work. Why don't you? Come on. Fuck you. Is your name Mayor, are, you, are you from out of town? Are you visiting? <laughs> Anybody celebrating tonight? Anybody doing birthdays? Anything here? This is my fault. <laughs> this is my fault. Hey, you guys remember that time Nick bombed? <laughs> oh, wow. I was doing so good. Thank you. S T E L Y. <laughs> what's your what's your horoscope sign? You shut the fuck up. Let me do my shit. We gotta be out of here by midnight. I mean, what do you want me to do? Yeah, that's your fault, bro. <laughs> what what's your what's your horoscope sign? Leo. Okay. R E T A R D. All right. That's fun. Okay. Okay. Uh, pick a number. Pick a number. Seven. Seven. Three. Four. Seven or eight. Eight, okay, AJ would buy you uh, roofies. Uh, dude, these all say roofies. That's so fucked up. Fuck you, that dude. That would've been funny. All right, hold oh, on. Give it up for that, everybody. You're a piece of shit, dude. shit, dude. Damn, man. <laughs> this really did feel like a high school fight. This was like a fight on Xbox Live. This is crazy. Yeah. Man, I've had fucking Modern Warfare 2 arguments that were less heated than that. Give it up for whatever that was, everybody. <laughs> wow. We're taking it back, everybody. Now, let's start it off with Mook. What did you think of uh, this? This was a nasty battle. Man. Nasty <laughs> battle. I, I think, you know, it was nasty, bad things were said, but I think these two will come together after this uh, when they create and sell deep fake porn together. <laughs> uh, AJ, you look like a German shepherd that came to life from the Nazi party. It's Golden Retriever energy. I, I thought it was a great battle. I loved the uh, Too Naked to Pee and the Pussy Goat of Mine from Nick. I thought the... Uh, the first pedophile joke and the too ugly to be gay hit hard, but I think the fortune teller backfired and AJ won it. The momentum after that was great. Uh, one for AJ. Okay, AJ gets a vote, give it up for him. That's, that's uh, first of all, Stop the me. steal, stop the steal! Stop the steal. I'm stopping the steal right now. I am stopping the steal. Now he's just doing crowd work to that one lady at that table. <laughs> that's for you. They're taking everything from us! That was a very specific pander. 
<laughs> Call me Mike Pence, bitch, because it looks like you... Actually, most Nick, I think you got dressed with the express intention of not giving any ammunition at all for the other person to comment on. Like, just dressed like a Coles mannequin, both of you guys kind of. <laughs> I think, I think uh, the fortune teller was, it was kind of strange. I've never seen origami at a roast battle before. Like if Triumph the Insult Dog was, oh, it's a pretty little swan, and he's here to insult you. I just, you know, just trying to mix it up, you know? You, were, you did mix it up. So I, I thought that the response to the mixing it up was a little bit better than the actual mixing it up. <laughs> yeah, that's no bad. disrespect. No, no, never. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna give it to AJ. Okay, AJ okay. gets two. Give it up for AJ, two votes, give it up for <laughs> Nick, what did you think about this? Two white dudes, AJ and Nick on stage, that's, those are two of the Backstreet Boys. You're a Howie and Kevin short. That's gay. <laughs> That's super gay. The Backshot Boys. Uh, AJ, I think you had the ups. Nick's it Nick, it looked like you had the downs. <laughs> but I did like your Hogwarts joke. That was cute. But you tried to own him by doing a craft. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> And that's super gay. <laughs> so I'm giving it to AJ. Okay, AJ wins it. Give it up for AJ. I'm a wonton don guy anyway. <laughs> what did you think, Alexis? Uh, it was like two battles against two stepsons for me. Uh, <laughs> All is forgiven between us. <laughs> yeah, they both that's won, actually. That's pretty cool. Really cool. Um, I did enjoy a lot of Nick's pops there. The the chody, the bully kept that that kept coming. Um, yeah, Mc, what was it? The uh, pussy goaded. Yeah, it's like I had a, a lot of really good jokes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you started off really super strong, I, but yeah. when you pulled out the piece of paper, I know I should. Yeah. just kind of took, like dominated you, and I was like, that's the stepson for me. So. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was all. That was the only one we could do. I'm just like stuck under the table, and none of you guys can try to get me out. Damn, I'm, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I am rock hard right now, Brian. Take me for my erection. What was no, no, up here? She hit the bingo. I heard. Uh, I heard pull out. I heard coming. I heard stepson, and I, I definitely came. Uh, so <laughs> shout out Alexis for being here and uh, for free. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I need a VPN or everything. Anyway, uh, no, this was great. What? Uh, one more time for these two, man. I love AJ. My first time seeing Nick. The hell of a battle. Who's up right now? Who's uh, who's winning? Well, uh, well right. It's so a blowout, dude. I, I they stole it. Really? I crushed kind of the whole time, and then I fucked myself. Oh, uh, Nick, don't say blow up and fuck yourself when she's right here. Don't do that. That's, that's too close to home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta, we gotta film that if you do that. Uh, <laughs> Nick, you were crushing until you started doing a Matt Rife clip. That was yeah. so unnecessary. Right. You would've won. That dude, don't do that. You would've won. Don't. So it doesn't really matter. My boat doesn't count just like yesterday, so it's really... <laughs> yes, sir. I live in a liberal bubble. I don't know what to tell you. I never voted in my life. Who cares? Uh, felonies, let's say. Uh, but <laughs> this is a hell of a battle. AJ's fucking, he's really good at the off the cuff shit. You obviously saw. Nick was a fucking buzzsaw, I thought, in the first couple jokes. He had some big pops. You guys were all clapping. He nailed that shit. It's so good. And then my man, yeah. Honestly, we're all quoting your jokes and not saying anything AJ said. It's crazy they all voted for him, by the way. It feels like yesterday. Anyway, uh. <laughs> This was a great battle between uh, Hitler Youth versus Sonic Youth. Uh, I did love uh, Dave Franco versus Dave Grohl. This is very fun for me. <laughs> this was like uh, Proud Boy versus Hitler. Anyway, I already did that one. I, uh, anyway. No, this was like if I watched Game of Thrones, uh, Baratheon versus the Lannister. Uh, I've got so many of these right here. But honestly, I thought Nick had the more strong jokes in the beginning, but I am booking AJ in December and I don't want him to shoot my fucking club up, so uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go push. It doesn't okay. matter, I don't give a fuck Yeah, it doesn't vote. matter, you really could yeah, vote for me just to- Nick win! Yeah. Nick win. Oh, okay, give it up for these two, everybody. Oh my God. Oh man, get the fuck out of here. Oh my God.
Wow, that was, uh, I think we learned a lot tonight. I'm not sure what, but we learned, that was, dude, that was one, but what a crazy way to start the fucking show. That was awesome, dude. Let's keep it going, dude. Let's just fucking keep it going. Give it up for the amazing Hunter Hurst and Rich Gomez! Yes, get on up here. Good to see you. Good to see you. Ma'am, relax, he is brown. Now, have you decided who's going first? Yeah, I'm going first. Okay, Hunter is going first. It's gonna be seven jokes each. Everybody, one, two, three! Rose! Uh, Rich is really hot. Uh, Rich looks like he bullied me in high school and then mowed my lawn last Tuesday. <laughs> Oh, give it up for Hunter. He's an oaf. <laughs> Hunter's a special guy. He's a real special guy. He loves going to the grocery store, or as we call it, the vending machine. You got good stuff there. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Rich is a um, stand-up. He also acts. He's an actor. You may recognize him from Subway. He works there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Hunter has no idea what he's doing sexually. He actually, he actually fingers girls with his thumb, but only because that's the finger that resembles his penis the most. Hey man, I got big thumbs. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Rich and I go to the gym together sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. When... <laughs> I go more often. You yeah, you do. You clearly fucking do, man. You've been doing it for a long time. I'm proud of you. Man. Yeah, when, I've never seen Rich grunt at the gym. Whenever something's heavy, he just goes, ay, ay, ay. That's how you summon my ancestors, by the way. That's helpful for me. All right. Oh, yeah, he's a, uh, you know, I know you can't tell by uh, looking at him, but uh, Hunter's a bit of a player, you know. Uh, after a woman has sex with him, she has to spend an hour wiping Cheeto dust off the, after everything. Yeah, whatever. That's right, dude. Right. Just right. act like it landed. Yeah, it's, it landed. All right. uh, Rich is an athlete. He's a really good swimmer. Mm -hmm. The first time he ever swam, it was to Miami. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> yeah. Joke's on you. <laughs> yeah. Hunter's autistic, uh, so he has that hard blinking thing, you know, he's just like you know, kind of just blinking real hard all the time. Hunter blinks so hard and frequent that it's like he's trying to scratch his face without using his hands. Yeah, it's, it works great, man. Um, Rich struggles with uh, body dysmorphia. He thinks his dick is huge. R Rich is the kind of guy that'll say his own name during sex. Mm -hmm. Like he'll say his full name. He'll go, oh, Richard Gomez. <laughs> that was the act now? No, no, there's one more. Oh, there's one more? When he okay. comes, he goes, Richard Blowmess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Hunter's incredibly impatient. Uh, um, sometimes he, he grabs shit out of his own asshole instead of just sitting down and waiting. That was pretty good, right? That's a funny image. That's a funny image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't really do that. But yeah, yeah. Well, it's fun. Yeah. Um, let's see. Rich has had over 100 sexual partners. Give it up for him. Clap for him. Yeah. Richard Homez. If Trump builds the wall, Rich will try to have sex with it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Too Come on, okay, I'll do it. This is Rich fucking the wall. You fucking like this? Yeah, yeah. yeah you, fucking, you, know, you keep my parents out, but you let me in. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, dude. Thanks for making me do that, man. I was nervous about it. I'm really glad I did that, man. I have a roll. I don't give a fuck. Build the wall. My parents came here on a plane. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, we'll get, we'll get. They landed in a field. Yeah. Uh, and that's steady employment, you know. But thank you for that. Thank you, Lenny from Of Mice and Men. That was really cool. Hunter 
has a hard time being gentle. He actually fingers girls so hard they poop. Damn, I'm a winner. Uh, uh, Rich loves cocaine and he can't read, but other than that, he's not like that Hispanic, you know? Ah, you motherfucker. Like, this is true. Um, Rich used to play baseball as a kid, and his coach thought that he was Indian. Oh, yeah. He wasn't that dark, he was just that bad at baseball. Yeah. That is true. That is true. Last joke? Whatever. Uh, last joke you say? Okay. Um, Hunter eats like an eighth grader, so uh, he has diarrhea all the time. The last time he took a healthy shit was actually on his girlfriend's strap-on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Gross. <laughs> it was gross. Oh, yeah. I think that's it. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Give it up for them, everybody. Holy shit. Wow. That was awesome, man. That was just like a version of the last battle. That was awesome. I loved it. I thought it was great. PFT, what did you think about it? Uh, first of all, I, I don't like the constant disparaging of the fingering technique. It seems like... <laughs> The horse on that one. The thumb is actually called the hitchhiker. It's pretty common. Oh, okay. For those of us in the know. Yeah, you know. You've been there. Uh, the other thing I wrote down was just, you guys remember uh, Nick's fortune teller that he made in the first one? I told him that was a good idea. <laughs> then Hunter wins. Hunter wins. He gets one vote. Give it up for Hunter. First vote of the evening. Nick? No, there's a switch. Hunter, uh, I was shocked when I saw your name was Hunter because the only place it looks like you shoot is in a school. Rich, this is the first Hispanic person I've seen be rich. Oh. <laughs> but uh, no, you, Rich, you were quick with the uh, workout more quips. But uh, I like the subway joke. You fucked the wall for us, Hunter, so I'm giving it to you. Hunter with two, give it up for him. That feels unfair, because I do feel like if Nick took his glasses off, they would be indistinguishable, but yeah. I, I do, Alexis, what did you think? Uh, well, that was uh, Hunter against Big, Big Tick Gomez. Uh, <laughs> in fact, Hunter, when you said that, I was like, I was thinking that the whole time, actually. Um, I, I really enjoyed Hunter a lot. I think he had a lot of, uh, especially a lot of comebacks towards the end there. Uh, from even like landing in the field, uh, the cocaine. I, I just really enjoyed it. So I'm going to give it to Hunter tonight. Hunter wins it. Give it up for Hunter. Taking the battle. Very nice. Brian. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, this was fun, man. Make it up for these, uh, these white men for Kamala Harris. That was uh, real fun. <laughs> no, I really appreciated this, uh, this gay reboot of Pocahontas. This was fun for me. <laughs> this looks like the movie The Sandlot of Where Are They Now? That's what this is. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like it started as an argument outside of Home Depot and then came here. This looks like JD Vance versus his wife transitioning into a couch. Anyway, uh, you guys look like a community college version of uh, Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Proud Boy versus Indians. I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, let's get to the battle. This was fun, man. I thought uh, Rich, Big Dick Gomez, really came out strong and swinging. Had some really strong jokes. He always does. Rich, you're a monster with these fucking joke writing things. This is a joke writer showcase, and these are some of the best joke writers in Chicago. So make a laugh for these cats. No exception. Um, and one more time for Nick Cartman. We're still talking about Nick's jokes. And I can't believe she's lost. It's fucking nuts. Anyway. Uh, Richard was strong in the beginning, but I thought Hunter was more consistent all the way through, so I'm gonna give it to Hunter. Okay, Hunter, one more vote. I want final thoughts from the MOOC. Yeah, the only thing I had was Hunter looks like he creates players at MLB The Show that look exactly like Richard. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Road to the league, baby. No, that was a good battle. I thought Richard had really good comebacks. The fitness and making him hump the wall was great, but I think Hunter had more consistent jokes, so... I'm for Hunter. Okay, Hunter wins the battle, but give it up one more time for these two. What a great job. And we're gonna keep it going. You guys ready for your next fucking battle, huh? 
Let's change it up a little bit. These two guys are fucking hilarious. I'm so excited to have them on. Give it up for the amazing Mike Robinson and OJ Lamont, everybody. Give it up for them. Hello, yes. Hell yeah. Like I said, we're changing it up. Two niggas. <laughs> this is black on black crime. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot that nigga as yeah. soon as this shit does. Yeah. I'm gonna get out of the line of fire here. Yeah. Please, Please sit your white ass in that. <laughs> Who's going first? I will. Mike's going first. Five Joe Tees. Everybody, one, two, three, rolls! All right, uh, OJ. I love OJ, but OJ, nigga, you look like you do your eyelashes before you leave the crib. <laughs> Mike, your ass look like a, a crib rocking bed bug. What the fuck, your ass? <laughs> you ugly as fuck. Okay. Uh, no, Mike, Mike's mom. Mike's mom is fucking furious about Donald Trump winning the election. Okay. She not. Not because. <laughs> not because he's a felon, and not because he's fucking uh, a racist, but because she couldn't get an abortion. He's here by default. Okay. Uh, dumb ass. OJ says dumb ass a lot, and that's not his fault. It's really CPS schooling system, because I think every time this nigga raises his hand to answer a question, they be like, dumbass. <laughs> we was in the same classroom. It was only four people in the class. Uh... <laughs> oh, it's okay, not, my turn in there? No, no dumbass. Uh... <laughs> Mike is probably the only person that's mad about Diddy being locked up and there's no more Diddy parties. Because now that Diddy's locked up, he can't put baby oil on his ashy ass skin. Uh, dumb ass. That's good. All right. I always wondered what OJ stands for. I never asked him. But to me, I think it's just, oh, he just got, <laughs> he just got let out, nigga. <laughs> All right, that was that. Nah. Uh, All right. I'll take that, L. Y'all remember when Mike bombed? Um... <laughs> nigga, it just happened, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, no, Mike nigga, looks, Mike looks, looks like, that's Mike like, looks that's like that's if Whippy Goldberg and Flavor Flav had a baby. Yeah, that's my joke. <laughs> and then they threw that baby in the garbage? Dumb <laughs> ass. Uh, OJ, um... OJ, we, all right, I gotta get this shit over with, right? Because OJ has, he has a, he got a white woman waiting outside. He do. And it's not, you know, it's not, it's not the fact that he got a white woman, that, it's a tow truck outside. <laughs> but that's a white woman, so he need to go over there. And get, yeah, nigga, you date tow trucks, nigga. <laughs> and I got, I got one coming for you too. Uh, no, no, that's more. That's more than one joke. Uh, Mike right. looks like a tap dancing bed bug. Um, you said that? No, I said crip walking roach. Oh. Um, hey, hey. All of Mike's friends asked him what he was gonna be for Halloween. He turned around, looked at them, looked at them, and was like, "I'm gonna be myself." He's so ugly. He's himself for Halloween, dumbass. All right. Nice joke. OJ. Uh, believes that weight, you know, Weight Watchers, you know, he, he, OJ thinks Weight Watchers is when you stalk a white woman till they call. <laughs> I, <laughs> big ass, fat ass white woman too. Right? He said, I, I earned my eyebrows. He doesn't even have eyebrows. You gotta borrow some nigga, lines. Even your, uh, even your fucking, um, <laughs> even your fucking, uh, Ultrasound pictures are ugly as fuck. Um, hey, well, who the fuck let Lil Durk out of jail? <laughs> Ain't you supposed to be here, nigga? Lil Durk up here telling jokes. What the fuck? Pissing me off like Chance the Rapper telling jokes. All right, give it up for that, everybody. I, I got one more. I got one more. That was only four. That was only four. Sure, that was only four. That was only four. Let it rip, nigga. They say I. Is in the beholder of the beauty and shit. But you ain't hold this shit but 75 cents on them leggings, okay? Uh, I guarantee you, and it's more, it's 78, nigga. 78 cents, dumbass. <laughs> yeah, it was worth the last one. Give it up for that one. Yeah, it was, it was. Shit. 
Man, this just really makes me empathize with CPS right now. That was that was difficult to manage, honestly. It was a difficult thing to manage. Give it up for these beautiful boys, hugging it out. Sweet, supple, sweet, supple, new mile boys. Okay. Well. Wow. Yeah, you gotta stay up here. This is the whole point. Now. Nick, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nick, what, what did you think about this? So you're both African-American gentlemen? <laughs> so obviously I'm horrified. When you guys walked past, I tried to lock an invisible car door. <laughs> but... <laughs> your name's fucking OJ, so I'm more scared of you. Uh, so I'm going with you. Okay. <laughs> the very scary OJ one bow give it up for him. Terrifying. What did you think, Alexis? This is the battle between OJ and I am the captain now. <laughs> hey, I've seen you in your films. You can say whatever the fuck you want to me. I don't give a fuck. Hell yeah, yo. Got my likes and subscribe, shorty. Sister Thorell, actually. So, Mike, I'm gonna give it to you. Okay, Mike gets one. Give it up for him, from his hero. Brian, what's what did you think? Thank you, by the way. I can finally get I can finally get a vote. Um, <laughs> it feels good. It feels good. And so proud of you. yeah, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Uh, OJ and Mike, man, make a lot for OJ and Mike. That was a lot of fun up there. Yeah. You could tell they're friends. They didn't want to talk shit about each other because they're rival gangs. One's a GD, one's a vice lord. They're taking this shit outside. So yeah, the, the real fight's gonna happen outside. So, but I, I did appreciate this battle between Simba and a crew from Dumbo. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. These niggas sound so white. They don't sound like Migos. They sound like friends. <laughs> like two British rappers fighting. This shit was crazy. It wasn't. It was like Candyman's illegitimate children fighting. It was crazy. Uh, shout out. Yeah, these are like the two last niggas who listened to Drake. That's who was fighting. <laughs> like tiny two versions of Millie Vanilli. Anyway, all right, let's get to the battle here. I really like these niggas, man. I really appreciate y'all. Uh, Mike is, uh, he's a hell of a, he's a hell of a, uh, of a fucking comic, and I know uh, my man OJ is too. Um, so I know these two wouldn't really get after each other, but the big pops obviously came from AJ. Uh, my man, my man OJ! I oh, said, AJ? You're welcome. I'm trying to get you out of jail, Negro. Shit. Fuck. You're welcome. Shit, you're dating white women, be careful. Fuck. Rebrand yourself. Fuck. But. OJ was killing the whole time. It just felt like Mike was just like, nigga, stop hitting me in the face. I was like, you were defending yourself the whole time, Mike. Why'd you keep like, you had to keep back checking. That's my, that's my joke. All those five jokes type shit, but it's all good. Now nah, yes. I know better. All right. <laughs> Enough said. It, yeah, it feels like that. Mike learned a lesson, so OJ wins. OJ, he gets a vote. I do want thoughts from Mook. What did you think? Yeah, I'd just like to start, start off by saying uh, I think Caitlin Clark is very overrated. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I fucking... That ain't gonna help me now. I love Angel Reese. I just yeah. want to get that... Nigga, we all just got a fat there. ass. Big fat ass. Yeah. Uh, and I a moose knuckle, too. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga, learn about that moose knuckle. Learning new words. Love it. Uh... <laughs> I would also like to say, OJ, I also love big ass, fat ass, white women type shit. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> and uh, I'm very happy that Lori Lightfoot is doing Rose Battle now. That's. I vote for OJ. Okay. He votes for OJ the first time. Yeah, I'm guilty. Yeah, there it is. PFT, what did you think to close it out? I thought it was great. I felt like what it must feel like to be in a barbershop. It felt like it was a barbershop <laughs> conversation, which is why I haven't cut my hair in seven years. Uh, 
I thought, you know, I am an ally. Want to say that up front? <laughs> One of the good ones. You said that? Yeah, yeah I, I guess I am. Uh, but that said, I don't know how funny the jokes with that word in them are because as an ally, I don't know what I should laugh at. So. You like rap music, right? Excuse, what music? You like rap music? What's that? <laughs> oh, talking fast. Go ahead. Uh, I like the tow truck joke. I thought that was good. He's fucking a tow truck outside. <laughs> That was good, but all, all, all in all, I'm gonna give it, I liked OJ better. I'm gonna go with OJ. OJ wins it, give it up thank for the, you, give, give it up for Mike as well. Good job, all right. Get out of here. We have to regentrify this neighborhood. And we shall. But I do wanna change up. A lot of dudes, a lot of dude energy. You guys want you guys want to see some girl on girl? Yeah. More importantly, Alexis, do you want to see some girl on girl? Yes. Yes, she does. Guys, give it up for the hilarious Layla Ingalls and Stephanie Robertson. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready for a rapid shift in energy up here. <laughs> Have you, have you decided who's going first? I will be going first. Stephanie's going first. Seven jokes each, everybody. One, two, three! Rose! Yes, uh, Layla went viral joke. Woo! I sure hope none of her fans are here tonight. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she told me she refuses to do OnlyFans, though, which is really admirable that you settled for being a slut online for free. That's nice. That's really cute. <laughs> That's good. At least I have fans. <laughs> Yes, your tits have fans. I'm. Mean, yes, you have fans. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> Go ahead. Stephanie, thanks for asking me to do this. I see you weren't humiliated enough on Kill Tony, so now you're here. I was told you're known as the hot girl of the Chicago comedy scene. That goes to show how horny and desperate the Chicago comedy scene is. <laughs> Coming from the hottest girl from Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> yeah, Layla actually had a really great set on Kill Tony. <laughs> you can tell right now. Uh, <laughs> it's all the same. <laughs> rock hard, girl. You rock hard nipples. Oh, I can't stop. You guys see them, right? They're right there. You don't even... I'm happy they like me in Cleveland, too. I'm from Dayton. That makes no difference to anyone in Chicago. <laughs> uh, my turn? I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Layla, Layla, you, you're so sweet. You're like a cute little, like, Disney princess. You're like... You're like Anna from Frozen if she had to find Elsa just to freeze off her HPV. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stephanie told me she's obsessed with Jim Carrey, which makes a lot of sense because she's a lot like Jim Carrey if you take away everything from him that made him great. <laughs> and made his tits even smaller. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh... <laughs> no, uh... <laughs> Layla, Layla told me she got all of her adult teeth in the second grade. So we're just waiting for the rest of her body to kick in. <laughs> when Layla works the corner, people think she's just waiting for the school bus. <laughs> Girl, what? <laughs> Why are you staring at me like that? This is what a grown woman looks like, Layla. Yeah. Stephanie, you look like the only person kicked out of Transylvania because you were too pale and weird looking to live anywhere else. <laughs> Really, guys? <laughs> okay. 
That's cute. I, uh, <laughs> Layla, Layla has sex the same way her mom puts her down for a nap. <laughs> she just Layla's there. <laughs> yeah, Layla, it must be hard being a slut while your parents still have the baby monitor on. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Guys, if you're ever feeling down about yourself or maybe like you're not really doing anything meaningful with your life, just remember Stephanie is out here trying to build a career as a comedian. Okay. Yep. That's okay. That's, it happens, Layla. Uh, I. <laughs> Layla, Layla is slutty, but she is picky. She doesn't fuck uncircumcised dicks because she doesn't like the ones with the crustal on them. Oh. <laughs> this crowd is so weird. What is happening? I know. What's HPV? <laughs> You'll find out. You'll find out. Uh. Stephanie, something we share in common are uh, our large foreheads covered up by bang bangs. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I personally love your five head. Mm -hmm. you, could, you look like Kristen Stortis. You could land an airplane on that thing, motherfucking. <laughs> motherfucking airplane head looking ass. to know does the baby talk keep you young or do you just like sounding <laughs> we gotta know we can find out <laughs> stephanie you're kind of oh sorry is it my turn no yeah 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 stephanie you're kind of like me if less guys wanted to fuck me The guys that fuck me want to fuck an adult woman. <laughs> uh, Layla, I'm so sorry for interrupting your tummy time. I, uh, <laughs> Layla, Layla actually studied philosophy in college, which is why she asked the big questions. Will you still pick me up from the airport even though we broke up two months ago? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shut up, girl. Here tonight, disgusting. Yeah, I mean, I need a free ride. I... You give them all the time, so it's time for someone to pay you back. Come on, fellas. Stephanie, I bet the only cock you get are cockroaches, because no one's been, no one's been in that pussy in a long time. That shit's abandoned as hell. Not sure. Layla studied philosophy in college and fucked a lot of black guys. So now she ponders, why does my pussy smell like fish when the guys I fuck smell like chicken? You're just mad they don't want to fuck you. <laughs> Is this All right, is yeah, yeah, one more. Oh, I have one more? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Stephanie told me, Stephanie told me she has a lot of car troubles. I'd recommend AAA, but uh, speaking of your cup size, is the, is, the, is the gap between your tits as big as the gap in you and your dad's relationship? All right, give it up for them, everybody. Wow, wow. Oh, wow. Yes. Man. Th this show is fucked up, dude. This show is... It's, we it's, a weird, it's a weird thing that we've done socially here. Uh, Alexis, it's fitting. I would love to get your first thoughts up top here. I was just waiting for them to scissor it out for a moment. Uh, <laughs> that, was a, that was a really close battle, ladies. I'm... <laughs> Uh, Stephanie, I thought you started off really strong. I really liked a lot of your jokes. And then Layla, like, you're just your compacts toward the ends. I was just like, wow. 
Um, so I'm going to give it to Layla. Okay, Layla gets one. Thank you. From Alexis. I love From you. <laughs> oh, wow. Right. Scissor later. <laughs> Layla, stop trying to get Instagram followers. God damn it. I mean, I'll subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Who cares about this battle? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, one more time for Steph and Layla, man. That was fun. Uh, I know Steph. She uh, she's one of the new hosts here, uh, so I know Steph from uh, from doing this thing. Uh, Layla's new, and I will definitely be following you after this. Um, but this was a this was a fun wife versus a, a trad wife versus a woman who killed her husband. Uh, I did love this this uh, this battle between Molly versus Percocet. Uh, This was, this was a fun battle between a pretty girl and Steph Robinson. Uh, I thought Halloween was over, but here we are with Steph dressed as Jelaine Maxwell and Layla as a victim. Uh, this was a fun battle between two girls who think they're allowed to say the N word for different reasons. Uh, <laughs> but I thought Steph's uh, chicken and fist chicken and fish pussy joke was, uh, I've never heard that before. So that's a new stereotype we'll be taking back to the hood. You're welcome. Yeah. You. They, they know what we like. <laughs> chicken and fish. Anyway, um, but that was, a fun, that was a fun battle. I thought Steph was consistent. Layla had some big pops. So honestly, I'd like to see maybe one more. I know one more joke? That's me. That's what's all I'm coming Layla, do you have one more joke? Oh, fuck. Uh, I do. Yeah, you have. Yeah. No, I can't. Who knows? I don't know. This is gonna be good. Well, I'll go first. Okay, that's yeah. Well, well, yeah. Oh. Judges, I mean, I'm, oh, shit. Like, oh. Oh. Don't worry about me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna put a pause in that. A lot of weird <laughs> sexual tension going on. We're gonna put a pause, throw some cold water on it. Mook, what did you think? Yeah, I, uh, I feel weird judging uh, between you two girls because I have bigger tits than both of you. <laughs> And I'm not proud of it. Uh, I'd like to speak for the Chicago comedy scene when I say we are horny, desperate, and proud. Uh, Layla, you look like if I typed in the chat GPT, autistic, bisexual, toddler. And I'm gonna agree with uh, Brian here, and I would like one more joke. Okay. Two for one more joke. PFT. A lot of slut shaming on stage tonight. A lot of that, two girls, one joke. It, it did feel at times like it was uh, an angel and a demon on the shoulder of Chapel Roan. I feel like Layla was uh, just a little bit ahead, but if everybody wants one more joke, I'll listen to one more joke. Also, Stephanie, oh, yeah. drawing attention to her hard, erect nipples, yeah. you forced me to stare. <laughs> I didn't want to. Yeah, it's the woman's fault, right, PFT? I, I, didn't I, didn't want, I didn't want to follow her on Instagram. I didn't want to send her, you did this stuff. But you're going to, right? <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah. It depends on, last joke. Okay, depends on the last joke. Okay, okay. one more for okay. Nick, real quick. I want to find a love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I realized it was two women comics, I decided to not pay attention. <laughs> Uh, no, no, Layla, your voice sounds like most Muppets. Uh, I'm sure you've had entire hands in you as well. <laughs> Stephanie of Hot Topic sold Valtrex. I'm sure you wouldn't need another store. Uh, but uh, I liked Stephanie's rebuttals. I was going to give the edge to Stephanie, but I'm cool with one more joke. Okay, we're going to do it. It's based off the last joke. You guys with us? Come on. One more joke. Stephanie, you're starting it. Okay. Um, <laughs> Layla is Muslim, so she prays for Allah. Yeah, a lot of cock. <laughs> Thank you guys for making me do that. Fuck. Go ahead, Layla. Okay, Stephanie. Uh... <laughs> God, uh, do guys have to take their shoes off before they walk all over you? Oh, I, I think the only thing that could cover up your forehead is this curtain, so why don't you do us all a favor and just get off the stage? 
Okay, that was the last show. Yeah. They are never fun and never really work. But because the panel has left it up to the audience, we're going to vote with you guys. If you thought Stephanie won, make some noise. If you thought Layla won, make some noise. <laughs> Stephanie Robertson's your winner this evening. Give it up for Stephanie. Get out of here, you two. I will see both of you talking with Alexis Fox later, and all of my dreams will come true. All right, guys, I know it's late. You guys are still with us, right? This is fucking awesome. What a great fucking show. Thanks for hanging with us. Let's keep it going. Give it up for the amazing Devin Glass and Fabby! Okay, who's going first? Me. Okay, Femi's going first. Five jokes to each, everybody. One, two, three! <clears throat> uh, Devin, it's ass. Oh, but only if the girl has diarrhea. <laughs> and I eat ass. But only if the girl has gonorrhea. <laughs> nice. Good one. <laughs> uh, give it up for Femi. I'm very happy to be roasting Femi right now. It's very cool. Uh, I think it's very cool that Barstool is here because before this, Femi's only credit was National Geographic. So. In my defense, I was chasing the white man. <laughs> I voted Devin for president. He, he promised to lower the age of consent. <laughs> that doesn't apply to Femi because he's a virgin. <laughs> yes, women don't deserve orgasms. <laughs> We're getting far too political. This is <laughs> beauty wall. <laughs> and keep him out. <laughs> Fuck the wise man. <laughs> Femi's the most white trash black guy I know. <laughs> Femi looks like he would bum a cigarette off somebody and then build a fire to light it. <laughs> Mom, do you have a cigarette? <laughs> uh, Devin loves blowjobs. Yeah, he loves giving them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but not as much as Alexis. <laughs> Please marry me. <laughs> It is so cruel to book a porn star when you're a virgin. <laughs> Again, Alexis, I am down bad. I want you to have all my STDs. <laughs> I want you to spit on me and feed me. <laughs> Devin, it's your turn right now. The, the bad part is Femi's doing all my jokes. <laughs> Right, better jewel. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Femi's gay. <laughs> and Femi's Devin gay. What? Femi can't come out to his parents just because his native language doesn't have click sounds for that yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sucking dick is very clicky. <laughs> So Devin used to be a child actor. He starred in numerous pornographies. I don't With know. What you... I have no idea what you just said, but I'm sure it was really good. <laughs> yeah, okay. Femi's proof that uh, one of the side effects of malaria is that you're a bad comedian. <laughs> Yeah, 
You know, I actually pray for Devin. I pray that he dies. <laughs> Femi, uh, Femi gave me the N-word pass recently, <laughs> but then a real black guy told me it doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, this is the bustle of uh, Alien vs. Predator. <laughs> yeah, you got one more? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> I actually, I didn't bring uh, Femi here to roast him, I really didn't. I just brought Femi here to ask if Tom Hanks is nice in person. <laughs> Look at me, Femi. <laughs> I am the comedian. <laughs> Give it up for these two, everybody. Oh my God. That was, uh, that was uh, what they call problematic in the art scene. Now, uh... <laughs> Brian, what did you think about what uh, just transpired up here? Uh, I think Femi just won his way into this country. <laughs> I think that's what happened. I didn't expect much from this. I mean, I, I know Devin uh, well. He's a very funny cat. Uh, I've seen Femi on, uh, on your YouTube channel. Um, and my God, bro, I had so many jokes, but I'm afraid now. <laughs> Big Don't be. <laughs> I felt like Devin was battling the sunken place and get out. That's what that felt like. That was crazy. How do you beat that? That's insane. He was just repeating things because he had heard them on, I don't know, films that they got from like losing a Super Bowl. I don't know what was going on. Which is funny because he usually wears whatever team lost the Super Bowl's merch. <laughs> but he nailed it. I mean, yeah, he's very, uh, not Charleston White, but Charleston extremely black. I mean, that was a lot going on up there, but Femi definitely, uh, I mean, Devin, you're a monster, but that was, you ran into a buzzsaw, which is Femi, and, uh, yeah, Femi, I, uh, don't say anything, and it was, it was like, yeah, scapegoat versus a nigga who eats goats. That was very, <laughs> like. Give it up for the buzzsaw, one vote for him. Yes, move. Uh, give it up for Femi one time, I just wanna, yeah. Femi. Femi, you're an absolute hustler, dude. I really appreciate the Uber on the way here. Uh, I gave you five stars tipped a dollar, so I appreciate that. Um, I really do like Femi, though, I, and, and here's the thing, like, we gotta appreciate what's happening here because he only has so much time left in this country. Um, Devin, you were great, but Femi's come back. I mean, I, I talked about earlier the how horny and desperate the Chicago comedy scene is. <laughs> Femi, just spitting game mid-roast battle is awesome. I'm gonna give it to Femi. Femi, two. PFT. We got the, the blackest black guy and the whitest white guy in the world on stage together. The Ying Yang twins is what it looked like. Uh, listen, I feel like a judge at the breakdancing competition in the Olympics where I have no idea how to score what just happened on stage <laughs> at all. I don't know who's Ray Gun. I don't know. I know who Ray Gun is. I know exactly who Ray Gun is in this one. Uh, I'll just say I'm going to actually vote for Devin because he looks like he subscribes to several Barstool Sports podcasts. <laughs> and I don't want our ratings to tank. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Congrats on the sub. <laughs> what did you think, Nick? Which one is Femi and which one's Devin? <laughs> Dude, you're crushing. <laughs> um, no, Devin, you look like you work in Pizza Hut. Femi, you look like you live in Hut. <laughs> um, but no, I'm giving this one to Femi. Okay, Femi wins it, give it up for him. Uh, we need final thoughts from Alexis Fox. Oh, please marry me. <laughs> I did watch him try to get her Instagram for the first 20 minutes we were in the green room. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I deny nothing. It's like laughs against someone who wants a green card. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Actually, Femi, I thought you were great. Um, and glad, yeah, uh, Devin, you're also wonderful as well. Um, I'm going to give it to Femi because you just really talked to me up tonight. <laughs> Femi wins it. Give it up for Femi. And give it up for both of these guys. Wow. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here, gang. 
I know that it's late as shit, but I really appreciate you guys being here for this show. Give it up for yourselves for coming out, staying out on a Wednesday night for a 312 for us. One round of applause for your servers that are fucking taking care of you all night. Please tip them well. I was also told that uh, Jordan is the employee of the month, and so she wants me to tell you that it is Jordan. She's the employee of the month, so tip her all of your money if you have Jordan. Yes. Okay. <laughs> she said thank you. Are you guys ready for your headlining battle of the evening? Yeah, it's late. It's like so fucking late. Are you ready for your headlining battle of the evening? Let's fucking go! Battle, 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 battle. Last battle of the evening, the amazing Max Sorge and Sam Bingra! Have you guys decided who's going first? I'm going first. Max is going first. Seven jokes each for the last time tonight. One, two, three, it is so good to be here. <laughs> now this is uh, this is Sam B. Rude. Uh, yeah, Sam B. Rude when he's using speakerphone on the bus. <laughs> Max looks like his stance on abortion is a wide stance and an uppercut. Yeah. <laughs> um, growing up, Sam's parents uh, would hit him, and it's not because they're African. Um, it's because they're like really African. Uh, <laughs> Max looks like he forces his one-night stands to go on a run the next morning. <laughs> uh, just a quick heads up, after the show, I'm gonna be helping out Roast Battle and selling their merch by the side door. And Sam's gonna be there selling candy bars for a basketball team that doesn't exist. <laughs> You might look at Max and think that he roofied every freshman sorority girl on his campus before he graduated, uh, but that isn't true. He did not graduate. <laughs> um, Sam's family lives in Philadelphia, but they're from Ethiopia. So now they cheer for eagles instead of fearing vultures. <laughs> Max is a Ma Max is the white guy that white girls date before they move on to black guys. <laughs> and Sam's the black guy that sends them back to me. <laughs> um, Sam is uh, like really depressed. He uh, he can't feel anything. Anytime he has sex. <laughs> Anytime he has sex, he's like, can we just not use a condom? And then the girl's like, why would I put a condom on my strap on, you idiot? Uh, Ma Max is like a, a fuckboy version of American Psycho, you know? He's like Patrick Bateman, but instead of handing out his business card, it's just unsolicited dick pics. <laughs> Um, so, Donald Trump said he wants to increase tariffs by 10 to 20 percent, and when Sam heard that, he was like, what? Tarif? That's my cousin's name, shit! <laughs> uh, there's, there's no African named Tarif. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude, that's good. Uh, Max is a barista. Uh, yeah. Max looks like whenever a woman orders a muffin, he goes, you sure about that? Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Uh, 
During the day, Sam is employed uh, as an engineer. Hold on, an African engineer? What do you design in cell phone kiosks? <laughs> Max, uh, Max dropped out of college. Uh, he works as a barista, and he lives at home with his parents. At this point, the only thing that Max can pass down to his children is herpes. Really. <laughs> it's the only thing left. <laughs> Give it up for them, everybody. Holy shit. His face after he did the black voice was like my favorite thing ever. That was, watching him realize he's in trouble was so much fun, mook. That was final, great. Your final battle, what do you think? Yeah, great battle, give it up for both of them. That was fucking awesome. I don't know about you guys, but I was hyped to finally see Trump and Kamala debate. I mean, that's fucking long overdue. Who's also, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, also great seeing Charlie Kirk live debate lesbians on campus. That's awesome. Um, but I thought it was a great battle. Both of you had awesome jokes. I thought the uh, Max's or Sam joke about running the next morning uh, after a one night stand and the uh, abortion stance joke. I thought those two pops were best. So I'm gonna give it to Sam. Okay, Sam, one vote. PFT. Uh, Sam, I just want to say you're very brave for telling those jokes, because his dad is obviously a lawyer. <laughs> I agree with, I agree with Mook though. I think, I think the abortion stance joke was the best of the night, so I'm going to give it to you. Okay, okay. Sam with two. Come on, Sam with two votes. Work hard for those votes, God damn it. Okay. Max, that's also the length of your sentence when women come forward here in a couple months. <laughs> Uh, I was starstruck to see every black best friend from a sitcom on stage. <laughs> uh, the uppercut joke got me. That was my favorite of the night. I'm giving it to Sam. Hi, yeah, Sam gets the win. Give it up for him. Oh my God. Adorable. Ra race relations mending, finally. I want final thoughts here from Alexis Fox. Um, that was a great battle. Um, I enjoyed both of them. Uh, I enjoyed the pegging, the uh, we know <laughs> the running afterwards. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give that to Sam tonight. I really just liked your tone. It was nice. Yeah. Unlike you and your shirt. Oh! <laughs> yes. Yes. I like him. This guy's you, very empowered. He's very confident. Yes. Make love for this guy, everybody. Yes, give it up for him. He needs it. Yeah, fully buttoned up fucking lavender shirt. You're feeling real brave right now, my man. All these guys here want to beat the shit out of you right now <laughs> with that gay ass shirt you got on, bro. Good luck getting out of here with that faggot ass shirt. Anyway. <laughs> Just saying. We can say the F word again because Trump's president. Anyway. Uh, and you're definitely one of those, so it's all good. All right, let's, uh, let's get to this battle. Oh man, thank you. I got you. All right, uh, give it up for these uh, these couple of white guys being bros. Yeah, yeah, I really like how Max sounds like an '80s yuppie and Sam sounds like a 1940s private eye. Hey, this is a really good roast battle. Battle of this guy and in in this narc over here looks like Ray Liotta. It's like he doesn't watch his voice versus Ethan Hawke's penis. This is very. This is like a battle of rival human traffickers. That's what this looks like. It's like young Bill Cosby versus young Ted Bundy. This looks like Paul Walker versus Trevette from Walker, Texas Ranger. Anyway, you want me to keep going? Who made you the fucking representative of this, this crowd? You're purple? All right, Barney, whatever. All right, let's, let's get into it. All right, uh, I did like this battle, man. I thought, uh, Sam, Obviously, he's a great joke writer. Make a lot for both these guys. If you guys, if you guys don't know Max Sorich, he's one of the leading point getters in the Rose Battle League here, Max, here in Chicago. He's number one. He's the Michael Jordan of this shit. Uh, 
But Sam fucking, I mean, Sam was Sam was there all night with him. Uh, honestly, I thought this was a draw. Obviously, Max is a monster in this. I love my man Max. He's going to be taking over hosting kind of a thing. So uh, I'm biased when it comes to Max. But Sam really did impress me. So honestly, I thought it was a draw. Okay. Sam wins it. But Max gets some fucking chops there, too. Get out of here, both of you. Wow. All right, motherfuckers. That's been Rose Battle Chicago. How are you feeling, huh? Guys, thank you so much for coming out. Uh, one more time for your amazing panel. Uh, the Barstool guys, Connor Mook, give it up for him. PFT, Nick Tarani, creator of Roast Battle, Brian Moses, and Alexis Fox has some men that need attending to in the back, which is very special. Thank you so much for coming out. I've been Chris. Y'all have a great rest of your night. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.